Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me again. I'm Ray Ray with another Pop Tobacco Review for you. Today we got Star of the East in bulk, bulk version. You can get this in flake and you can get this in uh, a two ounce tin. Uh, this kind, but the uh, they have a Star of the East Gold and a Star of the East Flake. Uh, but this is the regular Star of the East bulk version. Pops and Cigars 315, Smoking Pops 315. Uh, we're going to get straight to the review after I light it. My lighter's about out of fluid. I think I'll use a match. I'm going to scorch this. This is my second bowl I've smoked with this. I just now got done shooting another video where I smoked a bowl. Uh, getting this, uh, it's been a while since I've had it, so I'm getting it uh, back in uh, back in the forefront. This used to be my all-day smoke until I had discovered uh, Sessy any. I think I actually mentioned that in another video too. Smoking it out of a uh, just a basket pop, just as imported briar. It's a small bow. I use it for a lot of reviews or a lot of sampling. But it's I love this thing. I love it. I love the way it looks. I love the saddle bit. I love the uh, the color. Black's my favorite color. Black's also my second favorite color. So I mean it's win win. But as soon as I get this lit, we'll get into this. Now this blend is 50% Latakia. That's what it says. That's what it's advertised as anywhere I've ever seen. Fifty percent Latakia, uh, Turkish Orientals, and Red Stove Virginia. You would think that fifty percent Latakia would absolutely uh, it'd be a Latakia bomb, but it's not by any means. The uh, I think it's more so the uh, the Virginias that uh, really smooth out the uh, the edges of the Latakia. It's not harsh. It's not rough. Uh, the Orientals do come into play also. I think as far as keeping the uh, the Latakia in check, but it. Uh, A very non-complex, very pleasurable English, and the price on this and the uh, the availability in bulk, especially with the uh, the naming regulations, all that stuff going on right now, this is a perfect English to absolutely just uh, buy pounds of, put in big jars, and to just keep. Uh, you can't get it as cheap as two forty a pound on uh, pops and cigars, and you can get it as cheap as. Uh, well, it doesn't actually list it per ounce. You can get a, a pound of it for $38. And I don't even know why I'm going to attempt to smoke this on camera because I ramble too much and it just it goes out on me. So I'm just going to set this down to the side and we're going to talk about the tobacco. You'd rather hear me talk about the tobacco than see me smoke it anyway. Uh, it's an English room note. is I mean, it's, it's, it's good for an English. It's your typical English room note. It's the good campfire-y... Uh, you know, you get a little bit of the sweetness from the uh, the Virginia, so it's uh, it's it's pretty decent. And I'm telling you, uh, as far as an introduction to an English blend, um, you can check it for yourself first before you recommend it to somebody else. I think it's uh, it's great uh, to get started with. Like it's it, there's a lot of lot of Kia in this. I'm going to get tongue tied trying to say that. Uh, I feel it, but uh, it's not overpowering. It's not. Uh, it's not in your face, you know. So it's uh, also someone that's uh, looking to try an English blend. You know, this this is great. You know, it's it lists three ingredients. Uh, like I said you got the uh, the Latakia, the uh, the Turkish Orientals, and the uh, the Red Stove Virginia. And this is basically your textbook straight up Latakia forward English, and it's uh, it's great. The uh, the moisture was always been spot on uh, this is uh i think this last order that i got was eight ounces i've about got this smoked out of this jar i think i've got might be the 16 ounce. yeah i got two of the 16 ounce jars just absolutely stuffed in there because this they, they're going to set my cellar for a while 
and once I get rid of that I don't know if I'll pull anything out of that cellar and put back in this jar for the time being or not I'll decide on that later but the moisture the puffability very few relights it's uh usually one good light and if you're not you know just talking out of your head like I do it, it stays lit all the way to the bottom very little moisture uh, maintains the the flavor that you get from the first minute of the bowl is what you'll get you know as it's burning out the bottom of the bowl uh, it can around the middle it can sweeten up a little bit more but as far as changing the flavor any it really doesn't uh, really doesn't do that so it's uh start to finish it's uh it's great great all the way through burns great as far as tongue bite I mean, back when this is my all day, I'm sorry, but I do have to light this back because I'm really wanting to puff on it right now. Uh, there's days that I probably smoke four or five bowls of this and not even a hint, not a, not even a feeling of a tongue bite coming on at all. Though it can, it can burn a little bit hot due to, I guess, due to the Virginia. It can burn a little bit hot if you don't keep your cadence in check. And it does typically uh, say a bowl lasts 30 45 minutes I've noticed a bowl of this might last 25 to 40 minutes you know it's uh, it does burn a little bit quicker actually probably more like 20 to 30 minutes it does burn a little bit quicker but it's also a lot smokier Retro hell, you get the same thing as the aroma, the same taste. Uh, nothing really changes, but you know, like I said, it's not, it's not that complex. Uh, the thing is, though, I mean, it's uh, there's not a whole lot out there that is like this. There's a lot of them that, uh, you know, great, great English blends across the board. But you could probably hand me this in an unmarked uh, jar, and you know, just a just a pipe, and I could probably tell you. Uh, what this is or something very very similar at least within the first three guesses I could probably tell you what this is because just the way it's uh, the way it's blended and the uh, the percentages used like I said 50 percent lot of Kia that's what it says they know more than I do they're the ones that make it so I'm gonna go with a uh, half lot of Kia uh, Turkish I would imagine it's probably more on the the 20 percent with the Virginia's on the 30 uh, you can tell by looking at it I forgot to put the picture up no. yeah here you go it's uh I'm gonna look at the jar while you look at it on the screen. It's uh it's, it's about half, half black. You see. <coughs> ah my bad. But uh you can see the uh the 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 darkness would be the lot of key of the black and then you have the uh the Turkish was the uh the real light and the red stove Virginia will be your uh your medium brown. So I would say it's probably about a 50, 30, 20, if I was to guess. I shouldn't have done that. But it doesn't bother the taste or the flavor at all. This has never really got ashy on me. It's never, uh, it's been good. It's been very good to me. And from what I understand, it's been good to a lot of people. Uh, I can definitely see this being an all-day smoke for anybody. Like I said, it was mine. You know, it's uh, very affordable, uh, very available. Uh, it's, it's Cornell and Dill, so it's not going to be available for most outside of the United States. Uh, you're not going to find this at a drugstore or, uh, you know, at a, at a brick-and-mortar cigarette store, so to speak. You know, there's several of those around the house. I don't have a tobacconist around me, but I do have several uh, tobacco stores. But it's 95% cigarettes, and they got like four different cigars, and then... Uh, then you'll have your your half and half, your Captain Black. You'll have uh, your your Codger blends. So you're not going to find it at the at those. Uh, it's for the mass majority of the population. This is going to be just available online. Yeah. Don't even know why I bother. But anyway, guys, this is uh, it's great. I love it. I smoked the hell out of it for a long time, and a lot of it. Uh, so it gets 
for me and I try to use this scorecard to keep my subjectiveness out of it to keep uh, what I think is good and what I don't think is good to try to keep the as far as the flavor to try to keep it my opinion out of it because I mean I don't like pickles you know I there's several things that I like and that I don't like taste is way too subjective for me to tell you my opinion on the taste of this you know but uh, overall it's uh, the score adds up to a 79 and of course your main six on the side over there it's uh, a very very high 83 I would imagine an average would probably be is 60 to 65 you know you really can't look at this as like a letter grade you know an 83 would be a B uh, I, I do give this an A because it's going to be very very hard for any tobacco to actually get a 10 out of 10 on the uh, the scale over here so uh, that's what I give it you know that's the mechanics of the tobacco uh, if I could give it bonus points I would because it's uh, it's one of my personal favorites it's one that I'll always keep on hand and I keep a lot of on hand especially with the uh, the affordability and it's just a straight up good English and uh, guys Thank you so much for sitting through me, for sitting through this video. I know I stumble a lot over my words and, you know, ramble a lot. But uh, anyway, guys, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, take care. Thank you.